The investigation continues this week into the New Jersey bridge scandal that has Governor Chris Christie under the microscope. His administration is accused of closing lanes to the George Washington Bridge to create a traffic nightmare, all for political payback. The incoming assembly speaker says he will convene a special session Thursday to vote on extending the Transportation Committee's investigation. Meantime, people are forming their own opinions about Governor Christie's involvement, and that's the topic of our front page panel. In our newsroom, we have our legal analyst, Chris Tritico, our news analyst, Mustafa Tamiz, and public policy analyst, Jackie Bally. Good morning again, guys. Good morning. We thought there was a break. We were just kind of sitting here. Um. <laughs> You're never, you need to stay on task there, Tritico. Uh, so what kind of investigation needs to take place here, and do you think that this was an abuse of power based on the information we have right now? This is going to be a multi, uh, multi-faced uh, investigation. You're going to see the federal government investigate it, the state of New Jersey investigated uh, both legislatively and I think uh, there'll be a criminal investigation from both the federal government and the state of New Jersey on this. Uh, the, the question is, is uh, that everybody wants to know is what did Governor Christie know and if Governor Christie knew about it, what's going to happen with, with respect to him. A governor doesn't get the same protections that the President of the United States gets. In other words, he is not uh, immune from being indicted or charged criminally if, if something happened. So far, uh, nobody knows. Uh, there is no evidence so far that Governor Christie knew about this, Mustafa Tamiz, but if he did know about this, uh, not only is he subject to getting indicted, but I think that's the end of his political career. Potentially, but there's another thing that's been happening that, that people aren't following as close, because this is a scandal people are following very closely. Governor Rick Perry was also watching television during the time when uh, Governor Christie was having this long press conference. And, and this is, again, this is coming from an NSA wiretap. Uh, <laughs> He called Mike Toomey, his senior aide. He said, hey, I'm watching Christie implode. I'm getting a little sympathy. You know what? It's, it's about time we let the people on 610 and 59 go. Uh -uh. <laughs> oh, God. That is so Long wrong. way to go for that. All that right, is he's so done. wrong. He's done for the day. <laughs> oh, my now, uh, goodness. <laughs> you know, this, I, I think Governor Christie's handled this as, as well as he could. Uh, he, he, he did a good press conference a day before yesterday, stayed out of the limelight to let that uh, let that kind of uh, move around. But if if one email comes out that he knew about it, his presidential race is done. Yeah, he's done. Sally asked if we feel this is an abuse of power. Yes, it is. We just don't know who's abusing power. Right. He's fired. So far, he's fired two people, based on and the emails we've seen so far. He has not been touched. But I wonder how much stroke does a deputy chief of staff really have? Because according to what was done, you're shutting down a major infrastructure that people use. You're causing a lot of harm, possible public safety issues. And does she really have the stroke to take, tell the whole Toll Road Authority this is what we want done? It has to be more than two people more than who are her. involved in this. And, so, and, and there wouldn't be a thousand emails if, if, there, was, yeah. if there was only two yeah. people involved. But yeah. I don't think that the governor of a state would necessarily be notified that we're closing a bridge. I, don't, well, I, I find that to be a plausible explanation. Well, well, you know, I, I, I grew up in New York, so I, there's always a traffic jam between New York and New Jersey. So sometimes <laughs> you just don't know what's going on. But, but in essence, this was not just an abuse of power issue, but, but it's just a culture that's been developing around him. And he's had uh, accusations always being a bully, so this adds to it. Yeah, I don't want to talk about that coming back. I want to go to Sally right now. She's monitoring our uh, social media accounts. And we've got both sides <coughs> here. Karen says on our Facebook page, he should be removed. If this is what he does now, imagine what he will do if he ever becomes president. And then Barbara says, Chris Christie may have done something very wrong, but where is all the public outrage for the many Obama scandals, IRS, NSA, Fast and Furious, Obama, scare, that her words, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I like that viewer. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you would. Yeah. I thought you would, Jackie. Can't ever I talk squeeze about that something. in just for you. We can only talk about <laughs> Obama and Fast and Furious and Obamacare. We can't talk about anything else. That's right. Uh, nothing else is happening in the world. You know, there is this image uh, 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 coming out that Governor Christie runs a, 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 a very um, a top down and in my way or the highway um, office. 
I think this is a very stupid way to try to get revenge if this is exactly what they were planning to do. It's just very dumb. Something like this would come out eventually. He knew right. If he's actually involved in this, he has no right running <clears throat> for president. Hopefully, he has not been involved. And there are some criminal charges that are being looked at based on what we, what else we see left. We know there are some civil cases that are coming up. A right. lot of people feel, felt that there was trauma. The lady died on the bridge. I mean, we can't right. tie that death to the, to the bridge closing yet, but... Uh, this is gonna, not going to go away quickly. Right. Well, you know, abusive power, corruption out of New Jersey politicians. <laughs> Who knew? I, 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 I just, I'm just, I'm astonished. We're all, astonished. we're all stunned that there's corruption in New Jersey. The, the reason, Sally, that there's always a traffic jam on the bridge is because all the people trying to escape New Jersey. <laughs> That's right. They're trying to get here to Texas. That's right. We know we're always on the list of the, the top states for everything, jobs and everything else, right? That's okay. right. Thanks, guys. We'll see you in our next hour. All right.